Hi, I'm Victoria Grimberg and I'm Emma Parker and we are from Devon Communities Together and today we're going to talk a little bit about well-being and how to look after yourself in your role. So for me, my personal thing is reading and this is my favourite book, Happy Moments by Meek Viking, which is a Danish author and the CEO of the Happiness Research Institute. And I really found this one a couple of years ago and I thought it was really, really good to just think about those experiences in life that is really important to remember for a lifetime. Emma, how do you look after yourself in your role? Yeah, it's a really good question. Um, I think there's several ways I do it. One is to check in to my body and really get to be familiar with the sensations and feelings in my body so I know when maybe I'm tipping into stress and overwhelm. And if I'm doing that, then having some good practices to help with that. So I might take, I might do some breathing practices. So just breathing with a slightly longer exhale, for instance, I might even go into the toilet and do some breathing practices. If I don't want to do it in the main office space, I'll go outside and I'll have a walk in nature and I'll connect with the senses. So I'll feel the wind on my skin or look at the sunlight coming through the leaves, for instance, or the rain on my face. And the idea behind that is that it brings you into the present moment. And when you're present centered, it can make you feel much more relaxed. It can reduce your stress levels. So it's a way of just finding these micro moments through the day, these glimmers of um, pleasurable and relaxing and calming connection. That's essentially what I'm mm. trying to do. That sounds wonderful. I got more calm just listening to you. Oh, I sure. also eat cake, but you know, that's healthy, but also, you know, there should be a cake limit, I feel. Tea and personally. cake. Yeah. Tea and cake is another thing. Ah, of Being course. from Sweden, tea and cake and, and the concept of fika is really important. Yeah. So just taking that space out of your busy day to just relax, go and find someone and just have a cup of tea and a cake and a pause which is really important. What's one final thing that one can do for look after yourself in your role then? I think the other thing is, is, is and this is, can be tricky and you might need support with this if it is something hard for you, is about finding boundaries and like knowing how to say no to things um, and being aware of how you are using your time and looking after your time well. So you've got this balance between your personal life and your work life and that there one isn't really spilling over, you know, whether that's time wise or whether it's energy wise, you're finding you're just coming home from work and you're just like, I don't have any energy for the pleasurable things in life. And I think that is about tracking that, noticing that um, and finding ways to say a healthy no. Yeah, healthy no's are good. Fabulous, well, thank you so yeah, much. And you. I hope that this will help people in the VCC sector to just find those little things that works for you. Just look after yourself in your role. Yeah, and I think, because that's, the, the, just to add on, for organisations to be healthy and for them to really support whatever service users or clients or customers that they might be engaging with right? that we have to be healthy in the organization um, and then that gets filtered out to the people that you're delivering the service to isn't it mm -hmm. you know so if we're more well and happy then we can provide a better service for them and yeah it's important brilliant well yeah. thank you so much hope you got some ideas and uh, thank you